Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to properly install and activate your Olafly eSIM on both iPhone and Android devices. So to start, you will first need to buy your Olafly eSIM. If you haven't done that yet, you can use our affiliate link in the description below. It will take you directly to Olafly. And don't forget to use our discount code to save up some money. But wait, before buying your eSIM, there's one important thing that you need to check. Make sure that your phone is eSIM compatible. If you have an iPhone XS or newer, or any Samsung Galaxy or other recent Android model, you should be good to go. But make sure you check Olafly's website where you will find a complete list of eSIM compatible devices. Now, here's the catch. Your phone also needs to be network unlocked. If you don't know whether your device is unlocked, I will leave a link in the description to a video where I show you exactly how to check your phone's network status. And if needed, unlock it using unlockriver.com a trusted and safe online service that has been providing unlocking services remotely for over 12 years. Once you have confirmed that your device is fully compatible, we can go ahead and continue shopping for our Olafly eSIM. You can do this through their website or their app. Just make sure to use our affiliate link and discount code if you want to support the channel. Olafly offers unlimited data plans in most of their 200 plus destinations they cover. And no, in case you're wondering, they don't provide phone numbers. But that shouldn't be a problem since you will be able to make calls using voice over IP apps like WhatsApp thanks to their unlimited data plans. Just choose your destination, configure your plan and proceed to checkout. Perfect. Once you have purchased your eSIM, you will receive it via email, WhatsApp, and you will also find it under the My eSIMs section in the Olafly app. But before we begin, it's important to understand the difference between installing an eSIM and activating an eSIM. Installing and activating an eSIM are actually two different steps in the process of getting your eSIMs to work. Installing your eSIM means downloading the eSIM profile to your phone. Think of it like inserting a physical SIM into your device. On the other hand, Activation happens when the eSIM is turned on and connects to the mobile network. Now that this is clear, let's proceed with installation. There are three main methods to do this. Direct installation, QR code, or manual installation. The direct installation is the simplest option. So if that's available on your device through the Olafly app, we recommend you go for it. Next is the QR code installation, which is also very straightforward and it's the method we will be using today. Lastly, there's the manual installation, which can be the most time consuming. You will need to copy and paste the SMDP address and activation codes provided by Olafly into your phone settings. So this one should be your last option. The process until here is exactly the same for Android, but if you want to follow this process step by step, make sure to watch our installation and activation guide on any Android. Find the link in the description below. Let's proceed with the QR code installation. You can find the QR code in your email, WhatsApp, or in the Olafly app. Now you have a couple of options for scanning. On your iPhone, go to settings, then mobile data or cellular, and then tap on add eSIM. Now select the option to scan a QR code. Here you'll see the option to enter your eSIM manually, as we mentioned before. But let's go back and scan the Olafly QR code either from another device or by printing it and scanning it. Alternatively, on newer devices, you can long press the QR code and tap install eSIM, or choose the option to scan a QR code directly from a screenshot in your photo gallery. For Android devices, just go to settings, Connections, SIM Manager, and add an eSIM. Now, select the option to scan a QR code. In here, you'll also be able to add your eSIM manually, introducing the SMDP address and activation codes provided by Olafly. But let's go back and scan the QR code either from another device or by printing it and scanning it. No matter which installation method you choose, you will eventually arrive in this screen. From here, the process is the same for all devices independently of their installation method chosen. Tap continue. This will install your eSIM and this might take a minute, so be very patient. By the way, make sure that you have a stable internet connection while installing your eSIM. Perfect, mobile plan setup complete. Your Olafly eSIM is now active on this iPhone. Now it's not really active, but it's installed. Now I'm gonna show you the final steps. So we're gonna press done. And now we have to label our new eSIM. As you can see, I have a primary eSIM and I'll be labeling the secondary eSIM. This is the Olafly eSIM. So I'll name it Olafly. And let's go back and continue. If you have multiple eSIMs, you'll have to set a default line. And that's going to be the line that is going to be used for calling and texting. So most of the Olafly eSIMs don't provide a phone number. So I will be using my primary line as a phone number to make calls and use also iMessage. Now, this is the most important part. The mobile data needs to be pulled from the Olafly eSIM. That's the eSIM we just got. 
So make sure that one is selected. And I would suggest keeping this feature deactivated so that it only pulls the data from the Olafly eSIM. So let's proceed. And perfect, our eSIM from Olafly has been successfully installed. Now there's one more step that we have to do and that's the eSIM activation so that the eSIM starts working as soon as we land. Now, if you're traveling, I recommend doing this before you take off so that when you arrive at your destination, you have full data coverage. So here's the final step. Tap on your new eSIM and make sure that data roaming is enabled. That's gonna make sure that your eSIM is activated as soon as it connects to the local network. Now, here's a quick tip. You can also select data mode and you're able to select the speed at which your phone will navigate and consume data. The faster the speed, the more data it will consume. But since we have an unlimited plan with Olafly, we'll set it at 5G so that we can browse the internet at full speed. Perfect, our eSIM has been installed and activated. Now, if you wanna take this a step further in case you're traveling and want to avoid unexpected roaming costs on your main line, go back, select your primary eSIM in case you have one, and make sure that data roaming is disabled when you're traveling. You can still keep this line on in case you wanna receive calls and SMS notifications for verification text messages or anything, but as long as the data roaming is disabled, you won't have unexpected charges. And perfect, our eSIM from Olafly has been successfully installed. Don't forget to use our affiliate link if you want to support the channel and you want to save up some money using our referral code in case you want to buy an eSIM from Olafly. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the like button and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Have a great trip.